Good day, good day! How the fuck are ya? This is your friend Dan O, and this is Roverland, the YouTube channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. Have I got a video for you today? All right, all right, all right. Hey, how's it going? Thank you. Welcome for uh, joining me here at Roverland. This is your friend Dano, as the intro says. Uh, make sure you give me a thumbs up. How about two thumbs up? No, one thumbs up, because then another thumbs up means another thumbs down. Anyway, make sure you subscribe and share. Yeah, the channel is growing. We're teetering. We got to get uh, 800 here, you know, shortly. But anyway, uh, enough of that. Yeah, today we're going to take a look of a one on Wednesday. Uh, this is the so the uh, subject, the topic, uh, the subject here is uh, this here casting. But it's not those two, it's this one right here. Ba bam! Check it out. Yes, uh, recently my wife was at the uh, Walmart and found one, just one, this one and only one of these Hot Wheel Boulevards on the pegs. This was left over, I guess, from the other ones. There weren't any other ones on the pegs, as she said. So, uh, yeah. So, um, one on Wednesday. Yep, this is truly the one and only of this that I have. And, oh, man, Be bear with me, folks. Yeah, I'm going to open it, and we're going to do a review of this uh, casting against uh, another premium and the uh, mainline uh, right here on Roverland, so stick around, huh? All right, well, let me uh, get my trusty, dusty uh, box cutter out, hold it over the edge here so I can get a nice clean cut on the edge, and I'll show you exactly what I'm doing here after I'm done doing it. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, um, I'm hoping, uh, you know, this stuff usually uh, comes around pretty good. So I'm really hoping that I find another one and I can keep it on the card because this one was uh, mint on the card. But uh, for the sake of all you, we're going to take a look at it. All right. First off, we're going to pop it out here and we're going to finish looking at the card art. So you can see that we got a manhole cover and we're trucking on down the boulevard, the Hot Wheels Boulevard. Yeah, kind of nice, kind of neat. Um, I don't know, usually sometimes they would have um, the other cars in the set, usually sometimes in the background, but that looks like uh, something else. That, that looks like a muscle car. Not one of these here uh, fancy mobiles. So there you go. All right. Very neat. All right. Here we go. Let's take a look at it. Ba bam. I love it. I like it. I want it. I'm going to need some more. All right. <laughs> so as you can see, this is, um, I don't, it's not just a red enamel, but it's not. Um, what would you say? It's not uh, metallic. It's not metallic, but it's not just a regular flat enamel with gloss on it there. Or is it just that this red is phenomenal? And, uh, as you see the eyebrows, uh, uh, on the fender wells are not black. They're more of a gray look to them. So really kind of cool, some a little bit different um, color variations going on. There we go. We got some nice lighting going on there. Beauty, side marker up front, vent on the front wing uh, handle is marked uh, on the door. And then the eyebrows on the body are, uh, like I say, that uh, gray color. Yes, awesome, awesome. I don't know if I could say that those are decals maybe on the wheel arches. Those might just be decals. That, that might not be paint. It might be easier to just put a decal on there as well as, uh, you know, that, um, that air vent. Yep, those are decals. 
I think they're all decals. I don't think that they're a paint. That I think that they're a decal, to tell you the truth. Yep. And then, oh, also on the side is you have that same color, really, on the wheel arch as you do on that Alpine window. Really kind of cool. Hey, while we got this close-up shot, you can see this is a left hooker. Regular standard, I believe, interior, clear glass on it. So really kind of cool there. Let's zoom out here a little bit. We'll get to the back here. Uh, very, very nice. Once again, we've got that gray dot um, like on the fender flares. Yeah, on the license plates there. Uh, why do we have two? I'm not really sure. Uh, but we got uh, tour signals, backup lights, and tail lights. Very, very awesome. It's got the white alpine roof to it. Uh, here we go to the uh, passenger side. Yeah, you can see as that uh, gas cap there. No real details, but it does have that uh, gray dot. I'm calling it gray dot um, pattern to it. So same thing as on the other side, other than this side has got the gas cap. Still the Alpine window is not clear glass, but it's nice that it, it has uh, a decal to make it different. They just don't have the same uh, color there. And we come around to the front, we're still zoomed in. Very, very nice Land Rover on the bonnet, Defender on the grill, just above the grill. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, more decals on the plastic. <laughs> so I had made a mention on uh, the double cab that I had never really seen uh, decals on plastic, but I am, I am, yeah. And, and especially, I think my point that I really wanted to make was that you see them on licensed vehicles. But this one here definitely is and uh usually a premium or not just a 94 cent mainline i don't think they do that but they do a lot of the and then i went to go look some more and the fantasy cars which are mainly uh plastic they the the usually they have metal bases like this this is a metal base so metal metal base metal body uh, the bases on fantasy cars are metal and everything is plastic and then they decal the plastic. So yes, that is not anything new and rare as far as Mattel or Hot Wheels putting decals on plastic. It's just, I, I never really noticed it on licensed vehicles. And let's take a look at that. So the first time we saw this bugger was in this here Fast and Furious uh, edition. And uh, yeah, just a really nice truck. Uh, this one has more of the black spokes. I love these black spokes versus the uh, the whole ones, which the 110 has, a, they virtually all came with this, whether it was chrome, black, yellow, uh, the Batman green. But I, I like these better. Um, but yeah, so anyway, back to the uh, decals on plastic pieces. They do do it. Yes, we we can put that controversy to rest. The new release has got the Land Rover on the bonnet where the uh, Fast and the Furious does not. But uh, marker lights and such, obviously the black one, they didn't have to do anything else. Um Although I think that vent is a different color black, but as far as the eyebrows, the, the wheel arches, and on the top, you know, they didn't do anything there. But, uh, you know, they, they kind of wimped out, you know, they could have could have put a Land Rover badge on one side and nothing on the other side, that would have been all right. But uh, very, very sharp. This is the traditional, um, you know, Land Rover white roof. Very, very nice. Kind of show some red there. They could have made that decal just a little bit longer or maybe just the way it's placed. 
Uh, it kind of shows a little red, but that's all right. So yeah, so this is, you know, the, the main line, you know, this is the Zamax version, but uh, yeah, it's the same thing. It's, uh, you know, great, it's grand. Plastic wheels, plastic base, uh, just with the metal body. But yeah, just great. Uh, I really like, you know, that these tires are, you know, about the same, you know, they, they stay inside the wheel well. Just a great looking truck. Oh, I pray and hope to God that I get another one now that I open this up, and I will. I'll find another one. <laughs> but yeah, clear windshield, regular black interior, very, very nice truck. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. That's the Land Rover Defender 90 from the Hot Wheels Boulevard. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you hit that like button. Share and tell a friend about this. And uh, yeah, as always, this is your friend Dano saying, remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great Rover day.